So we were on the, the re replica rocket that was uh, built in 1979, uh, modified in 2004 with a new copper firebox, new boiler, and the, hence the frames had to be um, widened. But it, it's slightly removed from the original. Um, components, very simple, firebox, um, it's got forward and reverse clutch as opposed to do, um, doing this with a, a reversing lever. Uh, simple regulator. Th these here are the gabs which you can control the amount of st uh, direction when it won't move, when it's in dead centre. Um, we have components like the uh, modern engines with, with a, a pressure gauge here. It blows off, uh, literally it's the uh, safety valves at about 50 pounds. Um, safety issues we have to have on the modern one. We have a compressor for air brakes. We have to have air brakes at uh, health and safety. They're about a 50 gallon um, water drum, um, two brakes, the air brake, as I said, and we also have a hand brake. Um, it doesn't have an injector like most engines. It works very much on the principle of a traction engine with a pump. So it has to be moving in order for us to fill the water up. Um, a modern, uh, most other engines have an injector which where water through the power of steam is blown into the, the water is, um, through force is put into the boiler. So that's different. But it does, you can measure the level of water with what we call tricots, which are two little um, levers where if the water is below, in the middle of the tricox and you open the bottom one, water would drip out to let you know there's plenty of water in. Or if it was above that and you open the top one, that shows there's a lot of water in. So, but you also have the gauge glasses. These are the protectors, but here we have a glass with water in it that shows us our level of water, which is the level down the boiler. And if I just move that there, you can see the water moves down like that. And you have a, um, a black and white frame behind and the water refracts. So it turns the other way to show the water. Um, one, element, one element you need to look for as you're traveling along to ensure you must have enough water and it does bounce up and down. So if I was going downhill, that might be full. But if I was going uphill, no, rather if I was going uphill, it would be full. If I'm going downhill, the water would flow to the front. Hence, if you look at a modern engine, some of the more modern ones, they have a tapered boiler. That was to stop the water flowing, washing around so you didn't get, um, so it didn't disappear as much. Because what you have is, these are washout plugs for washing it out, but inside you have what's called, um, well, the word doesn't me, but you have a plug with a lead insert that if the water level dropped too far, the lead would melt and steam would shoot into the firebox to put the, uh, put the fire out. Not recommended, it was a sackable offence in the old days. Uh, this is the safety valve. Everyone, every engine has a safety valve. That when you reach the uh, pressure, you have a red line on this gauge here. And if it goes above there, the safety valve will lift rather than the boiler blow. Now, in the old days, I mean, talking about the 1800s, sometimes engines like this in the quarries, the crew would actually put weights on to stop it lifting. And that's consequently, we occasionally had explosions. So uh, that's basically it in a nutshell. Down the side here, we have the uh, connecting rods there. This is the cylinder. Steam, it blows, it sends a piston that way and then steam goes into the side, sends it that way. So basically, that hence the chuck, chuck, chuck. <laughs> this is for, basically four levers. Very, very rudimentary. And tall chimney, because there's more draw. If you look, it's, like I mentioned earlier about traction engines, uh, tall chimney draws the fire more, because most engines have what's called a blower. It will blow steam up the chimney for you to draw the fire. There's nothing like that on this. If you don't draw the fire and you stop um, on, it won't do it on this one, you can get what's called blowback. If you're on a foot plate, um, the foot plate's full of oxygen. What does a fire require to burn? It needs oxygen, so it will come back. 
I hope that was of use. <laughs>